five Gs driving a massive digital revolution and boosting the global economy in 2020. 5G alongside artificial intelligence, IoT, cloud and immersive reality is driving digital transformation, revolutionising the way we connect to benefit society, economy and business alike. How large is the scale of the revenue growth opportunity in the first wave 5G markets? And what is the trend of such growth? The analyst Iru Zong from GSMA Intelligence is here to give her perspective. I'm Professor Sally Eves, and it's a real pleasure to be here today with Iru Zong, who is from GSMA Intelligence. Iru, a real pleasure. Thank you for having me. Delighted. And one of the things I wanted to kind of talk to you about was digital transformation. Massive hot topic at the moment. But how do you think we can really measure success in this area? And how do you believe that 5G is the kind of catalyst factor to make that happen? I think it's important to think how would enterprises themselves measure their digital transformation journeys. And GSMA Intelligence conducted a survey of about 2,000 business decision makers in enterprises. About 70% of them say revenue generation, and actually equally amount a number of uh, respondents say that cost cutting is also an, uh, a measurable key success factor. And the third one is regulations compliance, which is kind of a mm -hmm. distant uh, third. But it's important to say that there is not much difference between revenue generating or cost cutting. Fantastic. Really interesting to see the different industry uh, variation and different expectations and how we can manage that. Um, and following on from that, what about the use cases? What do you think are the key benefits from, from this? Um, and also the key drivers for investment in 5G? What is uh, coming out differently across the sectors is only one sector, which is manufacturers of consumer electronics. Mm -hmm. They came out very clearly that revenue generation is the key as opposed to cost cutting, which is more common you would see in utilities, which is a regulated industry, but also with transportation where the margins are a bit tighter. Yes. And so I think the drivers for 5G investment by operators is really looking at how they can complement their revenue growth with um, addressing the enterprise market. Brilliant. And from an operator's point of view, how do you think they can best handle kind of th this, this opportunity of 5G and making it more profitable for their businesses? So the, the idea is that not only you, are you looking at areas where there is critical, uh, mission critical um, use cases, like your public safety, mm -hmm. but also where automation is fundamental to driving your, okay. your processes. And therefore you can see, for example, smart cities, as a very important uh, focus area for operators, manufacturing f definitely, but also any other um, uh, transportation hub. So you have your aviation and your ports, uh, where the idea that 5G is able to address some of the connectivity issues, mm -hmm. but also leveraging how you would apply data and uh, artificial intelligence to make decisions better. Absolutely. I think 5G, that massive integration opportunity, I think is huge. And you mentioned smart cities there, um, the opportunity to really actualise that now. I think maybe one final question is how we can move beyond that to maybe smart society. And how do you feel looking ahead to the future about 5G really transforming society and having an impact in that area too? At GSMA, we do a lot of uh, digital inclusion activities uh, relying on mobile connectivity. Um, and I can sense that there are a lot of vendors looking to make sure the 5G is helping the society. And if we think of IoT as a part of 5G, where um, the increased densification of sensors, like in agriculture, that would definitely help to um, drive agricultural yields. And what is interesting is you can sense that a lot of uh, different organizations are leveraging 5G or the promise of 5G to work together. So you are bringing in technology provider, your operators, your startups, but more importantly, the finance to make sure that you are helping, for example, in the agriculture use case, you are supporting the sustainable business of a small farmer. That's wonderful, thank you. Really exciting there. And I think a great example of how 5G can be a catalyst for change, both for digital transformation for business, but also create shared value as well to benefit society. So that's very optimistic to look ahead and what we can do together collaboratively. We are very optimistic. Pleasure, lovely to meet you. Thank, thank you. Thank you.